What's up feeder country? Back out here again today. More triple battle videos. You guys like the last one so much. I went and bought another triple because the last one blew up. So we're racing my SRX versus this XLT today. Mm, you guys say below who you think you're going to win. Let me know. What do you think, Alex? I don't think the 600 stands a chance. <laughs> we're back out here with Alex Graham from... Uh, that's how you say your last name, right? <laughs> he was in the last videos. We've been hanging out this year, riding old sleds, having a good time. Let's, uh, let's do some test runs. We're here at this beautiful lake once again. And today, we're talking, it's pretty freaking slick. Pretty icy. Alex is out here doing some speed tests on the his XLT. telling me earlier about the your full throttle uh once i hit full throttle it starts to the rpm starts to drop a little bit <laughs> where where does it stop being good right around 75 75 80 percent right there yeah. we so, got some jetting to do we'll get some tuning i've been really easing into uh into giving her all the beans though after that last one blew up we're just really taking it easy today but man this sled sounds so sweet <laughs> the ice is cracking Then it's your it's your jet. Yep. It's not the needle, probably. It's the jet. Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll have to see what's in it and what the book says, and then make a decision. I gave it just a blip of full throttle. <laughs> I think I'm jetted too rich too, cause uh -huh. like from from half or from like quarter or three quarters of full was nothing. Uh -huh. Where did I put the heat gun? Twenty four. Twenty 
nine. One thirty. Three ninety nine around four hundred. Four twenty. <laughs> Around 420-ish as well. Okay, give it a bit of a full pull here. I haven't really done it yet. I'm too scared to go faster than 80. <laughs> it's so bumpy. Yeah, I can see where it just, as soon as you hit that like, top speed, it gets weird. Really? I can see it right here. We're going to have to work on that, huh? <laughs> Which launch marks are mine? Nothing sprays out the back. It's yeah. Crazy. It doesn't look like you're slipping as much as you are because like that snow flap just kind of holds it, it in. Straight down. Like you can see, you start it right here. Yep. Just, the snow just drops straight down. Nothing flies back. Heck yeah. I wasn't slipping like too, too bad. Right. Earlier I saw where like we had stripped it almost like, uh -huh. like this one. It's a lot more stripped. Right. What's up, Dave? Much better drag sled than the storm. You know, he didn't do a half bad job at hooking up. I wonder how much of that was throttle control. Because earlier I seen him slide it all the way to the ice for like 15 feet. Like it took him out to about there to really regain the good traction again. A little bit of slipping. But man, we're out here. No, no studs. Literally on ice. That's the sweet spot on the throttle. That's what it likes, huh? Yep. That's Anything your... more, the RPM just starts dropping. Oh. So last little bit right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you were launching it, 
how uh was that just full pin off the get-go or you you lean it oh, into the throttle i was gonna lean it into it just because uh i don't know it kind of bogs right off the start so yeah but yeah <laughs> and you weren't slipping as bad earlier i saw you slip like straight to ice for like 15 feet but there every time you seemed to like it wasn't you still had some traction yep <laughs> 